Good afternoon YouTube, this is Lucidius Lux coming to you with a very exciting video today. I cannot wait to show you my system that I have set up from Home Biogas. Uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I've had to wait because I've needed results and you know I just want to troubleshoot it and get everything all figured out. Um, but the time has finally come and I am so excited. Uh, a couple days ago I was able to actually cook uh, using methane for my biogas system. So I made some mac and cheese as my first meal. And uh, I'm just, I'm way too excited about this. I love efficiency, I love living off the grid, and I'm not quite off the grid yet, but I'm one thing at a time moving in that direction. Um, but I love the idea of using recyclable waste as energy, and that's exactly what the system does. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so here is my biogas system by Home Biogas. I've seen quite a few videos online about this system, but I have not seen any videos reviewing their toilet attachment, which they also sell with their biodigester. Out the door altogether, not including import duties and whatnot, it was around $1,000 with a toilet, which I thought was very, very affordable. And I just want to do a quick review on this system, the pros, the cons, things I liked about it, things I didn't. So what you're looking at is the home biogas digester. This basically is the vat that holds all your organic matter and it decays into methane gas. This is the inlet in which, I know it looks disgusting, but a lot of horse manure in there and just general waste that's uh, slowly breaking down with an anaerobic bacteria breakdown process. So. This is the inlet, you put stuff in. The outlet is over there where you get your fertilizer. This is the gas tank, for lack of better words. You fill this with sandbags. They have one liter sandbags you put in here, it makes its own pressure. As you can tell, it's not that full at the moment, but if you look at it, there is gas in there. It's just slowly building. Here in North Carolina, we've had some really cold nights and I actually had to go out and purchase a aquarium heater just to kind of supplement it so it doesn't drop below 68 degrees, which is what they recommend, Fahrenheit. So walking around the back here, we have where all the magic happens. So right there, this bag that's wrapped in plastic, is a thermometer for my uh, aquarium heater that I dropped in there. I did unplug it because it's warm enough and I really don't need it and it's very warm in the daytime. It is under some shade. You will get a whole lot more production uh, when this is sitting in the sun, but this is the best place I could put it so far. I also have a greenhouse I throw over this. I just removed it just for now. Um, that definitely helps keep the temperature up, especially when it gets colder at night. Uh, the only problem I've been having is when I set this up, was uh, I had to wait quite a bit because the cold temperatures was delaying and slowing down the bacteria process. So <clears throat> right here you have the white pipe going in. This is the toilet outlet, and I will show you the toilet in just a little bit, but this is where it goes in. So there is a very long pipe at the top of that, that bend right there. You can see a little bit right there of the, uh, the color pipe. Um, it's green that comes with the system and that's very long and it goes down through there and it basically comes out in the middle of the system It's a very long pipe that kind of delivers your sewage and whatnot into the bottom The only thing I did not know about this system um, was you do have to buy some so this pipe was not cheap uh, Cost me around $80 it wasn't terribly expensive um, Actually, I'll take that back. It wasn't $80. It was around uh, $250 um, that I had to buy as a extension um, from the toilet itself. So they give you the basic pipe, but they don't give you the pipe, uh, the sewage pipe from the system to however far you need to pipe it from the toilet. So where this bucket is, is the waste outlet. So this is where the fertilizer comes out. So when you're flushing your toilet or when you throw anything in the front area where you're putting the inlet for the waste, a little bit of water comes out because the bacteria forms inside the biodigester and it doesn't need air air will actually kill it and so the water just comes out to displace what you're putting in so you'll have natural fertilizer come out of there some people like piping it into a sewer system or they have their own waste line or they just have it you know with a above bed kind of a garden system I just have it in a bucket because I don't have a ton coming out at the moment um, 
as time goes on, I will, I will do something more permanent and long-term with that. <coughs> the yellow pipe you're seeing here is the gas pipe. It comes straight from the tank and it has a turnoff there that comes with it and it goes to my place. Walking around this side, you can kind of see a little bit more of the system. It has a little slot here so you can kind of see where the water level is and let some gas out. Um, this system automatically uh, gases off if the bladder is too full. So the bladder gas comes from here and it has a, a little little emergency outlet just in case. So we're gonna go inside and I'll show you the toilet attachment. All right, so this is the biogas toilet attachment that comes with the biodigester if you choose to order it. It's an additional about $300, $350. Um, I thought it was fine, it was worth it. For me, I'm probably gonna be recycling more of my sewage into methane than I am actually organic scraps because of my lifestyle. Um, but I do throw organic scraps in the biodigester when I have them. So the bidet did not come with it. I'll just say that right now, that came as an extra thing I ordered off Amazon. But the toilet seat does. So just going through the system really quick, I wanna show you some of the pros and the cons of this bio toilet. Now the toilet is very, very short, as you can tell. I'm actually gonna get down here a little bit. And you actually need to build a platform for it to sit on. So I built this little box and I put all the plumbing below it and then I sealed it off from below so nothing, no insects or whatnot crawl up through it. However, it is very short and so that's something you need to take into account when you're putting this toilet in your house. Um, something else is that water is recyclable water. And so this toilet is more of an off-grid scenario or you can be environmentally friendly and flush with wastewater that is not sewage, i.e. gray water, shower water, sink water, washing machine water, etc. So you have a pump here and this is what you use to pump everything out and pump everything back in. So something that was not made clear to me is how the system actually flushes. Um, I did not, I was not aware that there was a pump that can pressurize and, and push it out. I mean, I assumed that was so, but it wasn't made very clear to me. So one of the cons of having this toilet is your clear water is always going to look like that. And it's going to have a little bit of a musky smell, um, you know, from stale water, you know, I mean, cause this is literally my shower water. Um, and, and, and something else is this toilet bowl is fairly clean. I flushed it and you can see these little bits of garbage in it. It does have a filter that you change regularly on the back. Uh, it's just a little screen you can wash and clean out. However, you're still going to have bits that make it through. And so one of the cons is you're going to have to deal with a little bit of not only a, just a dirty kind of a look, but also you're going to see a little bit of that residue that does build up from the water. So that is one of the cons and some a little bit of the smell, but I don't know about you, um, but after I'm done doing my business, it smells in here anyway, so that's that's not a bad deal. Um, I added the bidet because I thought it would be an excellent attachment choice to it, and I actually like it. Um, so not only do I flush with recyclable water, um, but when I do my business, I don't have to use a lot of toilet paper. I'm not putting a lot of toilet paper into this system. Um, I'm just going to put it on cleaning mode so I don't spray myself. But basically, um, it sprays you off. You do your business, and you get sprayed off, and you're just using a little bit of toilet paper to wipe your your butt off and just kind of dry it off because it's pretty much clean at that point um this aids for me in flushing the toilet because it, it adds water in there and then i just pump it all out so i'm not pulling a whole lot of recyclable water in here um because of the bidet which i don't mind doing i have my system set up so that my uh, gray water tank is just leaking a little bit but it captures most of the water and there's always a little bit of water in there which the system can then pull from when i'm pumping everything out so it has a couple switch uh, one lever here and it has some very unhelpful uh, instructions that show what to do so if you want to pump the water out you put it on one and that basically takes the water and pumps it straight out and adds nothing to it if you actually want to add water to the bowl and flush it because it's still pulling stuff out switch it over to two and then that pulls water take a little bit there from whatever water source you have and as you can tell I'm flushing right now it doesn't really take much. It primes pretty quickly. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple to do. Some people have a five gallon bucket outside. Um, I just drilled a hole in the top of my gray water tank and sealed it, and so the pipe goes straight down in there, and I just pull straight out of the gray water tank, and it leaks just a little bit out, so that way it doesn't overflow when I'm showering and whatnot. <laughs> I really like this system. I have no complaints about it. Um, the only thing they could possibly change is maybe make it a little taller so you don't have to build a huge box below it Although I think it looks nice anyway. They can't help the smell because I mean you're flushing with recyclable water And so that's something that I don't mind doing 
But otherwise, um, I had no complaints. I've only had the toilet in here for about three weeks now, so I'll do another review as it gets a little older and just some of the functions it has. I've had no problems so far. This is where the action happens. This is the thing I'm excited about the most. Um, this is the end result of the entire system, and I actually have it lit, so I'm going to put a pot of water on there just to show you guys. Um, this is the burner that comes with this system. Now, one of the drawbacks, I will say, to boot is the size of it. Now, if you look at it, it is rather large. I was not expecting um, something quite this big. It takes up a lot of counter space. However, they do have other models that you can set into the countertop to make it more streamlined, which I didn't buy. I just got this, and if I want to go out and get something else, I can, I can always just reorder something in the future. So, it does produce a lot of heat. I'll turn the light off here. You can see that blue flame right there, and that is pretty much on high, and the flame is almost wrapping around the pot. So I'm going to leave it on high just to show you guys how it can boil water and whatnot, which does absorb a lot of energy, and I'm going to need to turn the AC on a little higher because of this. Um, so this is probably the most exciting part for myself. Um, a lot of people pay to get their waste taken away. You know, they pay to get water and sewer. I'm on a well, so I, I mean, it's already been paid for as far as when the well was dug, but I pretty much get to turn my waste into something usable, some energy. And unless I actually have my aquarium heater plugged in, it's free. You know, I paid a thousand dollars for the system. It's paying itself back, but this is something coming from, I mean, it's poo gas. <laughs> That's what I affectionately have named it to my friends who think it's hilarious. Um, but this is free energy. This is something that you're taking and you're basically taking a resource and you're using it three times. You have the initial use of the water out of the tap into like the sink here, washing dishes, and then it goes down to the gray water tank the first time and then it gets pulled back up and it gets used into the toilet to flush again which is the second time and then it goes out to the biodigester it aids in a process of making methane which you could argue is a third time and then it is turned into methane to come in here to be cooked with and there's another time so I love efficiency so for me this is something that helps me go off the grid this is something I can use very um, to supplement my propane. I still do have propane. I'm actually switching over to hydrogen here pretty soon, which I'll make a separate video on when that happens. Um, and the water is starting to boil, and I'm just going to turn it off because it is getting quite warm in here with that on. But there you go. Cooked with poo gas. <laughs> Methane. So what are some pros and cons to this system? Yeah, I, I'm very excited about it. I've, I've looked at it for a bit and uh, just online before I bought it. And when I got it, I mean, it came from Israel. So it took about a month to show up. Um, so that's, it takes a while. Um, but I really, really have enjoyed this system. I just, I love the fact that I can take something that's a waste product and turn it into something usable. I'm not a huge green person, so to speak. I'm more of a practical and functional person. So you won't, you won't find me living way in the middle of nowhere, you know, with a grass skirt or anything, but you will find me living off the grid because I love the fact that I can be just kind of be in control of my own energy consumption and what I do. And so something I really, really like about this system, I want to end with a pros. Um, so maybe I'll just start out with a cons here because, I mean, it's good to end on a strong note. So one of the things that I don't like about it is the temperature. So when you're in the wintertime around here, it's going to be cold. And if it's below 68 degrees, the gas production slows significantly, if not stops. It gets too cold, um, you've got to cease anything you're putting into it. So you've got to put it in a greenhouse, you've got to add an aquarium heater. Aquarium heater is going to cost you some money because you're using electricity. Um, so there is that. Uh, if you're in a warm, warm environment, I mean, North Carolina isn't exactly that cold, but it does get cold at nights and we have some crazy weather. And so it's always just jumping around doing all kinds of random things. So I finally just put a makeshift greenhouse over it. I'm going to build something more uh, permanent as I go. And so cold is definitely a big one. Um, you also have to buy some additional products, which isn't a big thing. Um, that digester can only sit within a certain distance from the toilet. Uh, so I was not able to put it in full sun because I have positioned my tiny house to be in the shade. So basically, I don't have to use as much power to cool it down because it's natural shade. I can just use a central fan to pretty much take some of the heat out and just pull natural cool air in. So because of that, I'm limited with the gas production because it has to sit right next to my house. It can only sit, sit within about 30 feet of the toilet. And so you have to buy that pipe. Um, it does not come with it, and that pipe was not cheap. Mine was about $250 um, at Lowe's. So there is that. Um, 
but there's no smell. A lot of people have talked about the smell, and so, and here I am talking about pros when I say I talk about cons. <laughs> it just all kind of blends together for me a little bit. Um, but just going off that smell, so there, there really isn't that much of a smell. I do have a greenhouse over it, so it does basically stifle some of the smell that would be there, but even without the greenhouse sitting there, I catch maybe a tiny whiff of like, it's not even a sewage smell, it's more of decaying matter, like something you'd smell off from a grass pile uh, that you're basically mulching. And so, a little bit, but no, not really. There, There is no significant smell, and I mean, I've got pretty much straight sewage going into that. I've put hardly any organic matter into it. So, no smell in particular, um, but the, the cold is one of the things. Uh, the, the toilet is very, very short. You know, when I first got it, I'm like, Squatty potty. <laughs> I ordered a squatty potty. And so they could make it a little bigger. I mean, it's convenient to ship because it's so short and you do have to build a box underneath it, which I don't mind doing. I mean, I'm a six foot one guy. I got long legs. I can't, I can't squat that low. <laughs> and so for me, I just built something underneath it to house all the plumbing anyway. So it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but it is rather short. And so, and you're always going to have a little bit of, of crap coming up um, when you're flushing because you're recycling the water. And so you're going to have that smell. But I don't know about you. When I'm doing my business in there, it smells a lot worse than recyclable water. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta turn the fan on because it's 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 gonna ignite the air with methane. So there is that. Um, the unit that you cook on is rather large. Uh, the unit that comes with it is rather boxy. It's not sexy looking at all. Um, but you can mitigate that by buying just for a little bit more a drop-in unit that kind of sits in your countertop that looks much better. So I haven't tested that one because I don't care. I'm more of a functional person. I might eventually because I'm limited on counter space. So there is a drawback. And you've got to adjust the air intake, which I forgot to cover with a video. They have some flues underneath it that you can adjust and pretty much you know, see how much air mixes with it, which was wide open. So I was, I was burning very efficiently, inefficiently at first. So there's some cons. Um, if you're mobile like myself, it's going to be hard to move as much because that thing is 1500 liters and that's very heavy. You're not moving it. You would have to empty it out and save a little bit of the bacteria to reintroduce. So there's that aspect. I don't move very much, um, but I can move if I need to. And so that, that would keep me from moving. Um, as far as the rest of the cons, that's about all I can see so far. Now, I have been testing this for a couple months now, so it hasn't been here long. And I will put another video out there in about six months when I've got a little bit more ground underneath me. I just was really excited, wanted to shoot this video, um, finally producing gas. Now, as far as the pros, I love the fact that I can take something and use it several times. Um, recycling over and over again before the end is energy that I can use to cook something with because for me I live in a tiny house you know I live with a limited amount of space and I've got to be able to reuse things and the home biogas system has definitely been aiding in that process and so instead of inefficiently just you know getting rid of black water and flushing it down some you know sewer drain whatever you're pretty much taking it and you're using it about four times um, before it's finally done and so I love the fact that I don't have to use a lot of propane and eventually I'm switching to hydrogen. Um, I can just use my own methane. And that flame is very hot. I mean, you can you can heat your house. I can heat my house with it. I live in a small house. Um, so there's that pro. Um, there's the fact that uh, it doesn't smell as bad at all. Uh, when, I, when I sit around, I sit around all the time when I'm working or something and I don't even notice it. You know, it's there and if I open the greenhouse, I get a little bit of whiff. But no, there's not really a smell. So that's a pro too. As far as anything else, it's going to take me a little bit of time to really beta test it. Um, I, uh, I haven't been putting any sort of organic matter in it yet because I primarily travel a lot. So I'm always just doing my business and that's about it. But that's been enough to keep it going. So they're very helpful with instructions. That's another thing. If you have a question, not only do they have several pamphlets that are decent size with how-to instructions, step-by-step, -step, very, very, very uh, explanatory. But they also have a help uh, email system FAQ line that you can basically send a message to and then 24 hours they'll get back with you So they're very very helpful uh, with how they message you and whatnot. Um, They also have been following up with emails, you know, how's your system going? You know, we would like to hear some more and so um, 
really friendly people. The system comes from Israel, and so it does take a little bit to ship to you, and you do have to pay duties, uh, you know, import duties and whatnot, which I think was like $50, $30. It wasn't much. So I really enjoyed this system. I will do a follow-up video. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment or just DM me. But uh, this this has been worth it for me. Um, you know, it's going to take a while to pay off with $1,000, but I really don't think that's that's very expensive. And you can also buy all these things independently. So you can just buy just the digester if you want to, or just the toilet, or just the, uh, you know, the burner or whatnot. And so, and they are talking about other systems they're going to be coming out with, such as a heater and a few other things. I don't want to speak for them, but I have read a little bit of that. I'm really excited to see what else I can do. For me, I'm not as much of a uh, green person as I am an efficient person. So you're not going to find me, um, you know, living in a wigwam <laughs> in a grass skirt. Um, but you will find me doing things that make sense financially that I can pretty much control my input output. Um, so for me, I think it's important to be a good steward of the earth. Um, it's not my religion, so to speak, but it is something I'm very, very uh, passionate about. And so that's all for now. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Have a good day, guys.